whosoever would believe in him would not perish but receive everlasting life. You see, God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the whole world might be saved through him. There are so many different religions, and every single one of them claim that they are the true way of salvation. But Jesus said that unless a man be born again, that he cannot see the kingdom of God. And being born again is a supernatural work of God that takes place in your heart only once you come to believe in Jesus. You know, sin is the reason that we are separated from God. The people struggle in their flesh, they struggle in their sin, they struggle with lust, they struggle with pride, they struggle with idolatry, they struggle with jealousy, they struggle with alcohol or drug addiction, and they do all of these sins. But Jesus came to set the captives free. He came to deliver us from our sins so that we could be reconciled back to God. There's only one way to be saved, and there's only one name under heaven by which you can be saved by. It is because of God's holiness that he cannot look upon evil. It is because of God's holiness that when Adam sinned just one time, he had to leave Eden. It is because of God's holiness that you cannot walk your way to heaven. Because for all your best efforts to try to be good, you're always going to fall short of the glory of God. You're always going to sin against Him. And so your good deeds will not outweigh your bad deeds. Because it was one sin, one sin. And God said to Adam, to dust you are, and to dust you shall return. He cannot look upon evil because his eyes are too pure. He is a holy God. He is a righteous God. And because of his righteousness and because of his justice, he is going to judge everyone the same. And because everyone has sinned against him, he has given everyone over to condemnation. But it is because of his love for you that he sent his son into the world to die for you so that you could receive salvation. So that when you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin, he will save you. There's no other name of the heaven by which you can be saved by. It is only through faith in Jesus Christ. That unless a man be born again, then he cannot see the kingdom of God. When you put your faith and trust in Jesus, God himself will take your heart of stone, give your heart of flesh, and put his spirit in you. And he will take your sin, wash you completely clean in his blood, and give you his perfect righteousness. This is how we become the righteousness of God. It is through our faith in Jesus Christ. Islam is a false religion that is deceiving people. Muhammad claimed that the voices in his head were talking to him and therefore claimed that Jesus wasn't God. But we have revelation that came 700 years before Jesus came into this world that said that Jesus, the Messiah, will come and that he will suffer and die for our sins and that he will be born of a virgin. He will be the Almighty God, the Son of God, and that he will be the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father. It was prophesied 700 years before Jesus came into this world that he would suffer and die for our sins to bring us back into relationship with God. For we all like sheep went astray, each one to his own way. And so the Lord laid upon Jesus the iniquity of us all, so that by his wounds we are healed. The Bible says the man is dead. Spiritually, you are dead. You need God to bring life into you, just like he did with Adam before Adam sinned. And this only comes through faith in Jesus Christ. When he suffered and died on the cross for our sin, he breathed life into the apostles who witnessed the death, burial, and resurrection. Islam claims in the Quran that the Bible, the Torah, is the word of God. But because it doesn't agree with them, they say the Bible's been changed and it is their own book that testifies against them because it's their own book that says that the Bible being God's word can never be changed. And so because it doesn't agree with them, this is their excuse. He didn't realize it that hold on, Muhammad died, 
He claimed the Royal Revelation wrote the voices in his head. He would be locked up right now for schizophrenia if he was alive today. And he would be in prison for pediophilia because he took a six-year-old girl and he made her his bride. And he claimed that the God, uh, the Creator, gave his revelation only in her bed. He wanted to justify himself. He wanted to excuse his behavior. He wanted to get away with it. And so he claimed to be a prophet of God and says, don't attack me. I'm doing a disgusting, evil deed, but don't attack me because God is okay with it. We today know that it is wrong for a man to sleep with a little girl. And yet the God that created the world 1400 years ago condoned it. Blasphemy. It is blasphemy to even think such a thing. And this is the it is disgusting, it is demonic, and it is leading you to hell. There's only one way to be saved. There's only one name under heaven by which you can be saved by, and his name is Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. You cannot be saved by any other way. You cannot be saved by any other name. Is God Himself. And Jesus said that unless a man believes that I am He, you will die in your sin. You have to come to faith in Jesus Christ. Believe that He is God. Believe that He died on the cross for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. And if you believe this in your heart, you confess this with your mouth. Jesus Christ, that is very much alive, He's not a prophet. He's not a prophet. We have revelation that it would be God, only God, who come into human flesh and suffer and die on the cross for our sin. Only God is perfect. Only God. And you know what? The Quran testifies to that as well because they say that Jesus was sinless and only God is without sin. Only God himself is perfect. Only God himself is Sinless, perfect. Jesus claimed to be the first and the last 600 years before Allah. Allah claimed that he was the great deceiver, that he fooled Christians for 600 years into thinking that Jesus was crucified. That is the devil. Allah is the devil. They worship the devil. They worship a false prophet. And Jesus said, if you follow a blind guy, you will fall into the same pit. He said the road that leads to life was narrow and there were few to find it and the road that leads to hell was broad and wide and there are many people that hate to their island. Jesus Christ is very much alive. He is God in the flesh. He came to reconcile man back to God to set us free because we are a slave to our sin. Here we are slaves to sin, to lust, to pride, to idolatry, to anger, to jealousy. But when you put your faith and trust in Jesus, He will set you free. It is not by religion. It's not by joining church. It's not by praying five times a day. You can't pray your way to heaven. Jesus said, do not pray vain repetition prayers like the heathens do. They think because of their many words, they will be heard. You have to pray like this. Our Father, the light in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. It is only through faith in Jesus Christ. That prayer says everything we need to know. Our Father, hallowed be your name. Your name is holy. Your name is great. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Not my will, but your will be done. He tells us, forgive us this day our sin as we forgive those that sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Everything we need to know in that prayer is, is given to us. We talk to God every day. We have a relationship with Him. We tell Him how great He is. We tell Him that we want to be to with Him. We seek His forgiveness. We forgive others. We ask Him to provide for us what we need. And we ask Him to give us not into temptation so that we do not sin again.
against this. But before you can have relationship with God, you have to come to believe in the real Jesus Christ. God himself in human flesh. He suffered and died on the cross for our sins so that we could be reconciled back to God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father except through him. If you confess the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Believe that Jesus is Lord. Believe that he died on the cross for your sin. Was buried and raised on the third day. And if you believe in your heart, you confess this with your mouth. Jesus will save you. He is alive. He's going to return. He's going to judge the living and the dead. If you are not saved by his grace, if you are not saved by faith in him, if you are not saved and born of his spirit, if you have not been clothed in his righteousness and washed in the blood of Christ, you will perish in your sin. Hell is a long time. And people so concern themselves with the things of this world that they give no thought to where they're going to go when they die. You wouldn't gamble with your lives here now on this earth, so why do you gamble with your eternity? Why would you listen to these people that just are deceived and are trying to deceive others? Why would you follow the things of this world? The most important question you should ever ask yourself is where will I go when I die? And you are not saved by religion. You are not saved by water baptism. You are only saved when you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin. Believe that he is Lord. Believe that he died on the cross for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. So if you believe this in your heart, you confess this with your mouth, Jesus will save you. God bless you, London. Jesus high, let him high, higher and higher. Jesus is coming soon to judge everyone. What do you think on this? Hallelujah, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. What is it? I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. There is no one like Jesus. Honor him, him alone is worthy. He is holy and pure. And he cannot send any sin or sin. If you think you are going to heaven, there is no any other way. Only through the cross that Jesus 